Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite things. I know I did this last month and I did June favorites and this is kind of like a July favorites but we're literally almost in the middle of August right now. But I wanted to do this one more time because I don't think I'm going to do monthly favorites anymore. I think I'm going to do more like every six months or like yearly like when I change up what I'm doing and a lot of this is very very similar to how I was doing in June but I've changed a few products and then there's a few products that I didn't show you in June that I want to show you now in July so yeah this is just like my favorite products July favorites hot girls don't gatekeep whatever you guys want to call it this is what I'm gonna be showing you today I have a few different categories I'm gonna do hair skincare makeup um, like body stuff, perfumes, smelling wise, and then like a few like random things that I just want to throw in. First, I think I'm going to start off in makeup. So I don't remember if I talked about this in June, but this is the Hourglass Concealer. I'm pretty sure I did talk about this in June, but I am just in love with this concealer. But, so this and the NARS concealer are very, very similar to me, so I like them both. They also have like the same kind of packaging but I love the NARS one and the hourglass one I will probably be switching these up a lot but the NARS is just like my all-time favorite go-to like if I'm just looking for like a good concealer like it's not cakey it doesn't cake anything like it's very very good concealer this I feel like gives me a little bit more coverage but I love these both in the same category as concealer I recently bought the rare beauty concealer brush this is what it looks just looks like that I have been wanting a concealer brush for so long and I tried to buy just like a random one from a drugstore and I did not like it at all and then I got this one from rare beauty and I am obsessed with it it's so good but yeah I've been loving that concealer brush lately I feel like it blends my concealer very very well Next, I want to get into these nude sticks I am obsessed with these right now for some reason so if you watch Sophia Richie I'm pretty sure she used these for her wedding makeup and I really really like them so far that's how that's why I even got them it's with three minis so it has the blush the bronzer and the highlight and I love all of these the highlights not my favorite but I definitely love the blush and the bronzer and will be repurchasing them because I love them I think the bronzer is definitely my favorite and in the big size it comes with like a brush on the other end and I feel like that is a really good um, just like brush for bronzer. I'm in a really really good deal. They're only $30 for all three of these and they've lasted me a really long time already so I definitely would recommend. Oh my gosh. Next is eyebrows. If you know me you know I am very 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 picky with my eyebrows. I only was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil for the longest time then I started using the NYX one which I like. I think I actually talked about it in my last favorites video. I recently bought the Rare Beauty eyebrow pencil. I am obsessed. I am like I literally cannot go back to anything except for this pencil. I love it. First of all, just the packaging is gorgeous. And look at that. It just has like the slanted little, it's amazing. I just love Rare Beauty in general. I think that they have amazing makeup. I love Selena Gomez and I love the whole branding and everything. I love the message behind the brand. Okay, next I want to talk about my new favorite mascara. I actually got this sent to me, but this is not an ad, I promise you. I wish it was an ad. But Benefit sent me their new Fan Fest mascara. I am obsessed with this mascara. Look at my lashes. They look so long, so much volume. I literally am obsessed with this mascara. And I'm also shocked because not to say like I love Benefit, but I guess I just wasn't really expecting it to be this good. And I, it's so good. Like I love this mascara and the wand is just really nice and i think that's why it's so good moving on this is the last item i have in my makeup category and it is the charlotte tilbury um lip duo it comes in a pack and this is the lip gloss in the shade refresh rose and then this is their pillow talk lip liner I love both of these I have it on my lips right now it is so good I love the way it looks and it just gives me like that perfect little 
which is like perfect pink lip and I am obsessed. Okay, moving on, I'm going to do skincare now and my skincare has changed actually a lot since I did my June favorites. I recently went to a dermatologist and got a couple different things and I now have prescribed um, creams and stuff that I use for my face. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna be sharing those, but I don't use a lot of the things that I showed. First, this isn't really skincare, but I kind of consider it skincare. Uh, this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. So if you have Laneige, you know that that is such a good overnight lip mask. I love it. I've used it for years, but I went to go buy another one of it, and I was like looking at the other ones, and then I saw this one, and it plumps your lips overnight. It doesn't tingle you. It is amazing. It's by Lawless. This is in the shade Sweet Dream. I am obsessed with this. If you are loving your Laneige but you love a good lip plumping, get this one. I am so obsessed. You're in rave about this stuff all day long. If you are looking for a new lip mask, get the Lawless. Forget the filler one. It's so freaking good. This is what I now use to wash my face. My dermatologist re recommended it and I feel that it has helped my face so much. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that I love CeraVe because I did not like CeraVe for the longest time. I love it now. Specific one, the Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. It has 4% benzoyl peroxide and it's an acne treatment one. So if you have acne prone skin, this is amazing. This is just like the little mini sample of it. I have yet to go buy the big version because my dermatologist literally gave me like four of these little samples. The skincare is this. If you guys remember last video, I said I am looking for something more than just the micellar water because I don't feel like it gets all of my makeup off. So I said I was looking for some kind of gel, like makeup remover oil thing. This is from Natrium. I love, love, love Natrium. This is their fermented, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. This is their creamy cleansing oil. It's just basically a gel oil cleanser. It melts away makeup. This is what the packaging looks like. Moving on, we're gonna do hair now. Oh, background information. When I was in my college apartment, it has the shittiest water, as I'm sure most college apartments do. And it made my hair very, very oily and it sucks. So I was like, okay, I need to get something that's not gonna make my hair oily. Avenue, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but I have like their body wash and stuff too. This is their apple cider and vinegar blend clarifying shampoo. It's one cheap, so you don't need to spend a lot of money on a clarifying shampoo. This is the best one there is, I'm telling you. I've tried extensive clarifying shampoos. This one is so freaking good. This one gets the job done. It leaves my hair feeling so nice, so soft, and not oily at all. I am obsessed with this. Next and last product in the hair category is the Liquid Glass. This is from Dry Bar. I love this. This, it's like, I don't even know how to pronounce it or say it. I don't even know how to say it or explain this. I don't even remember why I bought this in the first place, but basically, you put it after you wash your hair, squirt, squirt, squirt on wet hair, it creates frizz, like almost completely. It is so good. I love this stuff. I will be repurchasing it because it seriously gets rid of my frizz and it makes my blowouts look so freaking good. Like, without this stuff, my hair looks so bad. But if I am blow drying my hair, I have to use this because I have really bad baby hairs this gets rid of them this i love this moving on to the things that make me smell so freaking good i have this is just the mini sample of the layla perfume this is actually from the norway pavilion in epcot it is the best smelling perfume it smells so freaking good it makes you smell clean it's giving clean girl vibes it is so freaking good i have to go back and get the full bottle when i go in a week to Disney. This is a fan favorite. We all know it. We all love it. This is the Sol de Janeiro 62. Whenever I walk into a room and I'm wearing this, at least, at least one person is saying, who smells so good? 
when I used to work for Disney and I would walk in, especially in the mornings, because everyone's like in that in this one hallway, everyone would say, Who smells so good? It was me. It was always me. Like not to ride, but it was me. And it's this perfume, it smells so freaking good. Seriously, if you want to walk into somewhere and just smell freaking amazing, use this. I love this stuff. I, I have like five bottles of this. I keep one in my car so I can spray it on me. It's so good. This is another one of those that I get when I walk into a room and they're like, who smells so good? I always put this on. This is the Nest um, hand, this is technically hand lotion, but I kind of use it all over my body. Um, in the scent Grapefruit, this is their lotion. It smells so freaking good. I'm not the biggest fan of like grapefruit smells. This smells so good. I always put it on my legs and all over my body. Everyone's like, who smells so good? It's this, it smells so freaking good. Moving on to just like body in general, I have been loving this Fur Ingrown, Ingrown Eliminator Serum. It works, guys. I have been looking for something to get rid of my ingrown hairs for like so long, like years now. This is the first product that has actually done it for me. It seriously is amazing. I am obsessed. I, it's a roller ball, which just makes everything easier. I think it was like $18. It was not that expensive. And it's been lasting me a while. I seriously cannot get enough of this stuff. It has clean ingredients. I, I love it. Next is sunscreen. This is the Sunbum sunscreen oil. I love all products Sunbum. I also have their face spray, which I think I showed in the last video. Um, but it's their face sunscreen spray and it's perfect for the summers, perfect when I go to Disney. I love this stuff and this is also another spray, but it's a spray for all over your body. It's small, compact, you can throw it in a bag. It seriously is amazing. I love all Sunbum products and I love their sunscreen. Okay, so getting to the end of this video, I wanted to show just like a couple random things that I've personally been loving recently. This is my Stanley. Everyone loves Stanley, right? The 40 ounce ones. This is the 30 or 35 ounce. This is the 30 ounce. Now, personally, I, I had a 40 ounce and all of spring semester, last semester, I took it and I would walk around and walk to my classes with it. It's just not realistic. It feels like I'm carrying a 10 pound baby with me all day and it's annoying it's big it doesn't fit in anything please do yourself a favor and get yourself a 30 ounce Stanley because this I love this I seriously I went over a friend's house one day and I put my Stanley down next to hers and she had the 30 ounce and I had the 40 ounce and I was like why does yours look so much smaller she was like oh it's a 30 ounce I bought one right away because it's so it's so amazing seriously the 40 ounce is too big for me this amazing I love it it's the perfect size if you're a college student and you need to walk around classes all day this is the perfect size I promise you okay so that is kind of it for my favorites this month like I said I feel like these favorites are just gonna stay in the routine for a while and if I have enough new favorites that I rack up I'll either do one towards the end of the year or in a couple of months but yeah that's pretty much it so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye